In this video, we'll review dashboards and charts in the Dynamics 365 sales system. When you first log into the system, the first thing you'll see is whatever sales are, whichever dashboard that you have defaulted for you. Most of the time, that's going to be the sales activity social dashboard. To change the dashboard that you're looking at, you can select the dashboard selector here and choose any of the available options that you have. If you want to set a particular dashboard as your default, go ahead and navigate to that dashboard using the dashboard selector and click on the set as default option in the command bar at the top of your screen. So let's go ahead and go back to our sales activity social dashboard here. Now, if we want to drill into the chart data that we're using, you know, for these particular chart components on the dashboard, we can click on the little ellipses in the upper right hand corner of whatever component we want to further review. From here, we can click on view records. This will show us the view or the list of data that's being used to populate this chart. Let's go back to our sales activity social dashboard. The next thing we're going to do is uh, drilling into a chart or changing the chart based off of, you know, more specific data that we want to see. So we're going to take a look at our sales pipeline component here. So let's say that I want to look at all of my opportunities that are in the develop stage. Uh, and I want to look at all of the accounts that are in that develop stage to do that. I can click on the develop stage section in orange here. From here, I get this little dialog to drill down by. This allows me to select or search for an attribute or a field on the opportunity record. So I'm going to look for my accounts. Next, I can select my chart type. So how do I want this drill down data displayed? I'm going to choose a pie chart for this example. So now what we're seeing here is we're seeing the a pie chart of my opportunities or my open opportunities that are in the develop stage. And that pie chart is divided by the uh, account here, as you can see. And then uh, the actual pie chart pieces are being calculated from the estimated revenue on each of those opportunities. Next, we'll go over creating a personal dashboard. To create a new personal dashboard, you can click on the plus new button in the command bar at the top of your screen. From here, you can click on the Dynamics 365 dashboard option. We'll be prompted to choose a layout uh, that we want to use to display this data. Uh, the three column regular dashboard is usually pretty standard. From here, I can click create. 